welcome to UK Prime Time. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. Well, uh, we have uh, achieved an amazing, uh, uh, you know, milestone in the development and rollout of the uh, minimum viable product that we are working on uh, for Boomerang. And of course, uh, this is not the first one, or this is not this is the last one. There will be so many. And today marks the last uh, Wednesday update before the uh, trading starts. So I will brief you all uh, thoroughly about the update, what is going on, where we are right now in the rollout, in the deployment. Uh, I hope uh, you all are excited mm -hmm. and awaited for this uh, update from me. So starting with the flash loan limits, uh, that is unlimited and, and profit ceiling for every license that is subscribed from January till 5th of April, closing of the business hour. So I am really, really proud and uh, uh, excited to announce that all the profit ceilings and the flash loan limits and the white listing is finished, is done already uh, to the smart contract. So if you have purchased a license, you are now whitelisted and you have the profit ceiling uh, on the contract level of Boomerang. I'm going to share my screen and show you guys the new Boomerang smart contract. And also I'm going to share in the chat the smart contract that we are going to use for the MVP. This is for the Polygon. Uh, later, uh, we are going to shift and expand with Arbitrum, with Ethereum, and few other networks. So more smart contracts will be verified and will be used to execute the arbitrage for you against the profit ceiling that you have. So this one is Boomerang Alpha Fund Controller contract, which has whitelisted you. And all the users have limits, so you can go on transactions. You can check. Last one hour ago, all the batches have been whitelisted. So every user who has purchased a license is now whitelisted on Polygon Network with the smart contract. Later, we will change this uh, synergy of whitelisting. We will whitelist at the application layer, and you will switch networks and you will operate with your profit ceiling into different networks. But for the rollout of the MVP, we are using Polygon, as I stated. And later, with the bots and everything, we will have Arbitrum and Ethereum. If you visit the DAP, you can already see there is Arbitrum in the bot already. So the operations of the bot, we will train you. But for the manual arbitrage, manual trade, you can use Polygon and start. So. What's next? After the, uh, okay, so what you have to do is now, after one hour from now, not now, one hour from now, we will be updating the UI. So in the DAP, if you will go, you will see user details. In the user details, you will see new section, which will be uh, profit ceiling. Once you see the profit ceiling, after one hour from now, one and a half hours from now, you you will have to go to WAS and check how many licenses you have uh, purchased and calculate the three times of the license value according to the profit ceiling. Let's say you have two license one. That means $1,000 worth of licenses. So your profit ceiling in the DAP should show $3,000. If it is showing $3,000, then you are good. You are good to go to start trading. If your profit ceiling is showing any discrepancy, after the UI is updated, in a couple of hours, we will roll out a Google form through which you have to submit that your profit ceiling is not showing correct. So we will correct. We will take 48 hours from the time UI is updated. In these 48 hours, we will rectify we will collect details from the market and we will rectify the profit ceiling. And after the examination and correction, we will resume the trading on the new contract 
that is for the VP and the trading starts. And then operations of the bot will start and followed by the operations of the bot in within 14 days of operations of the bot manually, we will automate the bot. Right now, if you go on AI bot, you will see, okay, anyways, if you go on uh, bot right now on any device on cell phone or on computer, you will see ticket sizes and you will see multiple networks. So there are, the bot is operational with Polygon and Arbitrum both. Initially, we will start with Polygon with the bot and we will manually operate the bot. After getting the impressions of the operations of the bot for uh, less than 14 days or within 14 days, we will automate the bot. We have built the bot, but we don't know how to automate it because it's AI based bot. It's not like a auto clicker where you click one, two, three, and the things are executed. No, it is an artificial intelligence based bot that we need to automate. So the update is you have to go to user details after one hour from now, one and a half hours from now, and you will find profit ceiling right here on the right side of the user details. Once the profit ceiling is updated, you will get the you will hear from your uplines uh, or I will pass a message and you need to verify for every license you have bought. If your profit ceiling is correct, then just wait. We will correct uh, and recheck also from the market with by running scripts uh, in within our database. And if it is not showing from the user end, then you can report via Google form and we will rectify. All right. So this is the long awaited uh, you know, information that you all wanted to hear. Uh, yes, we we are delayed. We are uh, we are not on time. There there were several reasons. There was Polygon, which was not uh, up to uh, time, and uh, before Polygon, also there were some difficulties that we faced. And also uh, in the in last week, UAE experienced heavy rains and it was a floody situation here uh, in UAE. And even Voss uh, as a platform was down for 24 hours because our servers were physical. So uh, in, in the basement where physical servers were uh, established and installed, there was water this, this long. I, I also, I personally physically went into the server room and we plugged up the servers ourselves and we moved the servers. Thank God everything was, uh, you know, in terms of development, everything was on cloud. So we are not affected by anything in any manner. But yes, uh, it was a little, you know, troublesome situation for the teams. We had to move and shift our offices and everything. But uh, there were delays because the, the it, it is involving development and it is involving the deployment on the live net. So, that there are some uh, dependencies also always on third party where there is a little bit delayed response from the API providers. There are some delayed response from third party solution provider. So uh, after uh, chasing everything, uh, everyone, we are done. We are we have now finally quite listed uh, the users on contract level and in the blockchain layer, you all are ready to go and trade now. So now we will just uh, make sure that at the ui level your limit is showing right once we ensure that we will resume the trading within 48 hours of rechecking the database once and uh, re-evaluating from the market also because we we don't want to i personally don't want to leave anyone behind if you have purchased the license then we should all start trading together and i received some questions from the market I would like to uh, clarify. Okay. Or if Grace, you have uh, additional questions. First, I will uh, clarify at my level, and then one of you uh, can ask. All right. Okay. So, so there are a uh, few clarification. Uh, users are or people are uh, not very sure how they when they buy the license right now what their limits are going to be. So if they buy the license, we are going to update on Voss and on Boomerang as a platform uh, 
the license uh, details or you can say the benefits of the license so the benefits remain unchanged that will be three times of the license value that will be profit ceiling so every user who acquires a license is going to receive a profit ceiling of three times the license value from here on and later also so this is one thing second thing is the users who have acquired the license after the fifth closing, that is after we stopped the uh, pre-sales for the MVP, those users will be whitelisted after 24 hours of operation of the DAP uh, when the trading resumes. So once we operate the DAP with these users for 24 hours, after 24 hours, we will start whitelisting the new users, also the users who have subscribed after fifth okay now uh, second thing is uh, the miners which are being minted against the licenses you have subscribed till fifth uh, april business closing the miners have been minted already so you just need to go and check your boomerang address where you have uh, purchased the license you will see the miner when you connect that address with btc20 smart chain after 5th of April, miners will be minted as soon as the trading begins. And then it will go live one is to one every day. Okay. Third thing is, uh, okay, updates on the ICO. So updates on the ICO are, uh, we are holding off the ICO for some time. Once we start operations, we will announce uh, some important uh, aspects around boomerang we are going to do some additions uh, like the own liquidity pool that i announced that we are making our own flash loan protocol where you as a user and investors uh, as liquidity provider can provide liquidity and generate uh, incomes as an interest or fee of the flash loan so after announcing the liquidity pool and few more uh, milestones that we have achieved we will start the process of the ico but right now immediately after the launch we will not roll out the ico third thing uh oh sorry fourth thing uh okay so some users are skeptical about the flash loan limits and the liquidity or volume or ticket size for the trades to be successful as so many users will be trading all together at once so people are concerned that there will be no liquidity or there will be uh, less successful trades or arbitrage will not be found so i want to answer this question came from the market i want to answer this is what we have built this is the usp of boomerang you know this is what we have created together the tool which finds arbitrage for you the tool which uh, crawls in the decentralized exchanges and checks whether there, there is liquidity or not. Why are you guys concerned about uh, the liquidity or about the volume, about the ticket size, about anything? Boomerang is here to do that. This is what uh, Boomerang provides. So don't question the product. Understand? So this is like uh, questioning the product, you know? So this is the USP of Boomerang. This is what Boomerang does for you. And you have done that in the beta phase. You have tested yourself with your beta testing limits. All right. Next um, is the price of BTCC uh, has not increased since January. Are there, uh, are there any steps being taken to increase its price? Well, uh, BTCC is totally dependent on the market. As you harvest, as you mine more, as you stake uh, in some, let's say we run some staking programs, you stake or you hold it, it will continue to grow. I know the reason why it has not crashed. I know the reason why it's not zero. Okay. So don't ask me why it's not increasing. Okay. I have been playing a major role in keeping it intact. So it's you guys who can push it, right? Not me. 
my job is to hold it my job is to keep it intact there and i have been doing so yes there will be steps there will be few more additions which i talk uh, you know spoke about in last uh, wednesday call and uh, previously in second last wednesday call uh, about the meme tokens that we are going to build on btc20 smart chain yes the process is ongoing after the boomerang uh, trading starts we will begin the dex is under update the website is under update and also the blockchain is also going to be uh, so the major update was scheduled in february 2024 the major update is not uh, uh, you know deployed yet so it is still on the testnet once we finish uh, because everything was uh, focused on boomerang lately that's why once the major update goes on the blockchain you will see a lot of uh, new additions and changes on BTC20 smart chain as well. Next thing was uh, node activations. Yes, it is already ongoing. All right. So uh, Arbitrum blockchain, there were questions on Arbitrum blockchain in the, in the bot. So yes, if you go and visit the bot option on the DAP, you will see Arbitrum as well. So the operation of the bot will involve other networks initially. Once we are, uh, once we learn as a team, and once the technology, the AI learns how the bot bot is uh, responding and acting in the live market in the current market conditions, then we will automate the bot and it will be multi-network at the same time. So you have to just have little gas fee and the gas fee would be uh, you know would make your would, would run your trades would run your uh, okay okay so the gas fee would ensure that your bot runs on multiple networks and also we are testing the feasibility we we can test everything after the operation start because what we as a team can do is we can run like four to five or 10 or 100 trades. But with you guys, we can we can learn and we can optimize with thousands and thousands of trade. That's how the MVP is built. So after running the trades in beta version, we have optimized everything and we built the MVP on the basis of the tests in the beta phase. So exactly the same way bot will be built and bot will be optimized. So. We will start manual trades with Polygon. Followed by that, we will start the bot operations. Bot will not be uh, chargeable or you will not have to pay for bot initially during the testing. With testing, you can manually run the bot without any cost. But after impressions, after we get a certain level of trades and uh, we collect some data, we will automate the bot and then it will be available as a subscription in we are all satoshi as well so that in your affiliate side you can make a handsome amount of compensation okay next thing is all right so the whitelisting uh, delays people have been asking why are we whitelisting with polygon we can whitelist with uh, arbitrum also no so the plan is to initially run the MVP with Polygon and then we will start operations going multi-network with bot because it will be easier. And once we start operations with Arbitrum on the bot, we will integrate Arbitrum in manual trading as well. So testing and integration of new network will not affect your regular trading. Please understand this carefully. Whenever now we have to add more, because we, we are going to add seven to eight networks in coming few uh, weeks, right? So every other two weeks, we'll, we will add one more network because we have to satiate the whole database. We have to make sure that there is arbitrage in multiple networks and you as a user consume and you as a user secure your profit ceiling as soon as possible and you repurchase because the model is to repurchase, right? So with bot, 
testing multiple networks we don't have to stop the operations for testing with regular trading regular trading will go on with polygon once we test the new network on a bot on, on our bot let's say arbitrum and then we will deploy arbitrum with manual trading next we will start ethereum with the bot once we are good with ethereum we will integrate ethereum in the regular trading as well so this is how the synergy of the testing and deployment will work even after the launch we will not stop uh, integrations and adding more features to the ui to the ux and we will not stop adding more networks so don't think that after 48 hours when the trade starts we will stop the development no there will be updates time to time and we will enhance we will keep enhancing boomerang tap all right so these are the questions that came from the market uh grace if you have any specific questions that came yes. to you thank okay. you very much there are a few questions chavez and thank mm -hmm. you again for your time and, and being here to give us this wonderful update. Great news um, about uh, the um, profit ceilings and the, the status of the UI. Now, someone did ask, but I think you've already answered it within your explanation announcements, whether how the bot will work. Is it manual? Um, yes. How does it work? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, first, I, I have shared the contract address in the chat you guys can copy the contract address this is the new contract which we have created today and updated all the users in batches so the limits and ceiling are added on polygon with this smart contract which is again um, uh, verified smart contract okay coming to your question grace uh, the bot is going to be manual right now you okay let me explain this we don't know how to automate the bot it's not like auto clicker it's not like one two three click click done no it's ai bot so we will manually ask you to operate the bot once we learn the technology the machine the database learns from the operations let's say we run ten thousand or hundred thousand transactions over the bot manually then it will certainly create its own flow and then it will be automated I cannot automate it as a developer. It needs to automate itself. So I also don't know how the bot will operate after, let's say, 14 days of operation. So initially, you have to run it manually. Excellent. Thank you. And now, how long is it going to take to get whitelisted if you were to make a purchase in the now or in the near future? OK. So if you are buying licenses right now, which I can see so many people are buying, uh, once the trade trading starts, uh, after 24 hours of operation, we will start whitelisting from the 6th of April till today. And then uh, once the license is purchased, the whitelisting will be real time. Let's say you have subscribed the license uh, right now. 8 p.m., 7.30 p.m. UK time, you will be whitelisted in a couple of minutes, not more than 30 minutes. So if Polygon is experiencing some downtime, then it will take a little time. Otherwise, it's going to be instant. So within 15 to 20 minutes of time period, the API response will hit uh, Boomerang. And from WAS, if you purchase the license, you will be whitelisted instantly. It would be instant, but I'm telling uh, in the safe scenario, 15 to 20 minutes. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, uh, can the new use, so talking about trading, can we trade with uh, amounts of $1,000 or more? Oh, you muted yourself. Well, it totally depends on the market, on the network we are using. We have tested with uh, Polygon. We have run $1,000 trades and they were running good. We don't know about Arbitrum, but I can certainly give an idea. With Ethereum, we can run larger ticket size trades. But now the tra uh, ticket size does not matter. The profit matters because it's profit ceiling. It's not uh, the flash loan limit, which is, uh, you know, less. The flash loan limit is unlimited. The, 
the profit seals so the larger profits how users can get is by running a uh, different level of trades uh, you know in the bot if you have seen we have added only small ticket sizes because we know that arbitrage and frequency is more that's why the bot has few ticket sizes and we will increase with time when it will uh, learn it will optimize more we will add more ticket sizes and then it will hit like that so before automation we have to understand with polygon i believe 1000 1500 dollars trades are easy are working it they were working in the beta phase fantastic thank you now can we um add new users while getting whitelisted while the ico is going on yes yes definitely def definitely now the ico idea is entirely different because we have uh, uh, undergone a different uh, you know approach with the ico uh, we have collaboration now with different companies in fact uh, uh, there is a very big news that i'm going to release very soon after the press release so we have uh, got into a collaboration uh, which is very very huge so once the news gets out we i will uh, announce and then we will move on to the ico so so ico is going to be even bigger than what we have expected fantastic and one last question please as someone wants to know whether if i believe a landing page or they have a website would they be able to use the bigger the boomerang logo or the picture from the boomerang site on their private white page uh, website? Yes. definitely definitely uh it is it is like a c uh if it is not conflicting with the interest the business operation in which we are if they are in the same business operation if they are using then we will file a suit against them we will challenge them in the court if they are not doing the same business that is arbitrage with ai they can use for marketing they can use affiliate marketers can use uh, we are all satoshi affiliate marketers can use boomerang banners no problem they can use my pictures also no problem <laughs> Thank you, Chavez. And one last question. What do you say to those people who have been so anxious and so worried as far as uh, this launch of uh, getting well, started? See, it's 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 all about it's all a learning process. Now you have learned uh, this is how real technology is built, this is how real products are rolled out, and this is just a uh, second product that we are releasing properly after BTC20 smart chain. So uh, I believe BTCC miners understand the process, how real tech is deployed. But uh, we have a bigger community, I understand. And this community has come from core MLM background. So in MLM, when we see in affiliate marketing, there are no real products. There is uh, the maximum uh, or the intense most product that uh, affiliate marketing companies uses pump and dump of a shit coin. So we are we are not that. We are a technology. We are a uh, you know a DeFi product that needs a lot of uh, you know challenge that that involves a lot of challenges in the rollout. It's real technology, and this is just one. After this, we are going to release another one. So uh, yes, uh, once Boomerang rolls out properly you guys start training uh, trading then i will start the training with the trainers on another one that we have discovered and that we have started development already the development is halfway through and this all came from boomerang because uh, boomerang was a one first of a kind uh, creation and with boomerang we learned we discovered that there will be a, a new side of the market that we can tap using the ai so it is going to be a byproduct that i'm going to train you guys for so be ready so thank you chavez i know with the bad weather rescuing servers and all of that, that has <laughs> happened i know that you have been working tirelessly um 24 7 probably and so thank you so much for being here and providing us this update um, there's a, a raised hand or two. Did you wish to entertain that? Yeah, from Sheila. Yes. Okay. 
anyone. Okay, Sheila, go ahead and unmute yourself, please. And we're not going to take too many questions here. I think we have asked enough. And so Laura Guerrero, you're the last person we'll say, but go ahead. So everybody no, no, only, else. Yeah, only Sheila and Moni. Only, no okay, else. thank you. All righty. Thank you. Sheila, go right ahead. Chavez, hey, how are you? Good, good. How are you? Good, I'm good. So let me tell you what everybody really wants to know. And I don't know if you're able to, to do this or, or maybe, maybe do a mock demonstration. Everybody really wants to know when they're able to trade, how exactly are they going to use this bot? Are you able to share your screen? Just show a, a, a limited demonstration of how they'll do that? Yes, it's same. Uh, let me share. So uh, go to market opportunities, pick the pairs, select assets from here. I've not connected the wallet, so it won't be visible. Then enter quantity like before, then you select the, so first asset here in the swap will automatically appear as your primary asset. And the second one you have to select from the pair you have picked. So once you have picked the pair, you will select and then you confirm and the trade executes and it will be working as same like the last time. Oh, okay. So I thought I thought we were supposed to be demonstrating or using the bot. No, no, no. This is, so manual will also work and the bot will also work. So bot is also working manually. So bot will work with specific ticket sizes. Let's say you have to run only $50 trades or $100 trades, or let's say $10 trades. You hit, hit, hit and run only $10 trades and the opportunities will be visible with the bot. So with 14 day minimum 14 day operation of the bot we will automate the bot but first users have to run manually okay so when you say we're running manually we're just doing it as usual like we know how to yes. do it and the bot is just picking that up we don't have to do anything specific with the bot exactly exactly you have okay. to pick the ticket size and select the uh, chain let's say you want to run on polygon uh, or arbitrum let's say polygon so you select polygon select the ticket size then there will be market opportunities of that ticket size from different dexes. You don't have to pick anything. You just have to select and book that. So the bot is just, the bot is, is watching what we're doing manually because the, everyone thinks they have to do something specific, like stick on the bot no. and things. They don't have to do anything with the bot, just do it manually like we've already learned. And the bot is yes. actually going to be picking up from what you're doing. Cool. Exactly. Exactly. No question. exactly. So All there right. are two methods. Yeah, there are two methods now. One is the manual that is uh, available in the land in the dashboard primarily and then you go to ai bot so ai bot is uh, alternative method so let's say 5000 users currently are trading manually another 10000 are trading with the bot so it's diversified the scripts are found with the bot uh, the pairs you don't have to select pairs it will find itself but with the manual trading you can differ you can uh, select ticket sizes of your choice. Let's say you want to run only $1,000 trades every day or every time. You run it manually. You don't have to use a bot. For specific ticket sizes, use the bot. So, but Chavez, what you, what you just explained, that's when the bot is ready for us to use. Exactly. So bot right will now, be operational. Sorry. Right now, once we start to trade, the bot mm -hmm. is not available for us to use. Uh, I will make sure once the trading starts within a couple of hours because bot is operational i tested uh, it is working uh, once the trading starts let's see how many successful trades are what is the success rate on the contract after determining the success rate we will start the operation of the bot it's ready it's not like we have to we don't have to do anything it's it's all ready with two chains okay you know what <laughs> if i'm not clear they're not clear okay <laughs> so. okay so no, when, it's time for us to, when it's time for us to start trading, mm -hmm. we're going to be trading manually like we're doing before. We're not going to touch anything on your screen. It has AI bot. We're not going to click on the AI bot at all. We're just going to trade like normal. Yes, yes. You, you, right? You're going to trade normal. But once we announce that you can use the bot, you can use the bot. And some users okay. will go and use that's the, And that's the question, Chavez. Once you announce that we can use the bot, how do the bot, how do we use the bot? We just just select the select the ticket size, select the chain, and then it will run automatically. Okay, I think the text will be able to go ahead and pick that up and be able to help people. Okay, so. one second, please. Chavez, can you share your screen again, please? Yes. Sure. 
Sure. Here. Okay. So at the very top, where, uh, besides support, you have AI bot. Mm -hmm. Right? So when the bot is operational, if somebody wants to use the bot, when they log into um, their DAP, like now, they connect the wallet. Connect the wallet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They select their pairs. Mm -hmm. And then they no, click no. no, no, no. They don't have to select pairs anymore with the bot. Bot so will find AI bot. Yes, yes. It's, so when it's the bot all... is operational, we'll log into our DAP and just click on AI bot. And when yes. we click on AI bot, what do we get? You will get you can uh, open right now because my wallet is not connected. So if anyone has connected wallet, if mine is connected. Okay, just visit the AI bot. So you click on you AI bot. 10 20 30 100 150 exactly so these are the ticket sizes so you just have to select the ticket size in the network the bot will find market opportunity uh, itself bot will do all the job it will just book the trade for you and you don't even have to pick the 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 uh, usdt or nothing just the, the ticket not and the bot does it for yeah. you okay yes is, is there going to be a cost for using the bot so once we make the bot operational, that is automated, then we will charge for subscription. Okay. But not now. First, we will learn from you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know the next question that's coming, right? Oh, when are you going to start charging? Uh, but that's okay. As long as we know there's a charge, that it's coming. And I'm, yes. sure, it will be, I'm sure it will be economical. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, even even uh, it, is, it is now going to be more economical because... Uh, uh, the community is huge and where we are tapping the markets uh, where the most traffic is coming from we understand we have i have done a lot of speculation and the next upcoming products are not going to be more than 50 dollars okay cool beans yeah okay can we move on to the next question all righty so ivan ivan would you please go ahead and unmute and ask your question I'm mute. Oh, here we go. Thank okay. you. Hello, hey, guys. Mark. Hello, Chavez. Great to see you. Good You've been you. working super hard. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, what's my question? Um, it has to be a good one, right? The question hey. is, you said that there were like 5,000, 14,000 people already with their uh, profit ceiling limit. Is there a particular way that we check that? Because I'm just going in. And yes. I've got five different sort of MetaMask accounts and I just refresh each time and then it should show up in the user stat box. Can you show us exactly where it okay. will show? Please. Okay. okay. I, I, I explained this, but I will explain again. Yeah. Okay. So right now, the users, all the users, it's not 14,000 now, uh, all the users, their profit ceiling is added on the contract level. I, I showed in the contract. But now the ui needs to populate the profit ceiling so here in the user details you will see profit ceiling section here once the profit ceiling section arrives here you will see your profit ceiling this will take another one hour from now so the dev uh, the dev team is working on this after the limits so the limits were updated uh, let me check uh, one hour ago so we were whitelisting till the last one hour. Now whitelisting is finished. Now we can touch the optimization. So according to the optimized uh, contract, the, you, the, the front end will pick the data from the contract and it will populate on your DAP, the profit ceiling. It is only a thing which is left. So uh, last three hours ago, I had the update that it would take uh, around three to four hours. So I think one hour from now it will be done. Once it is done, once the profit ceiling is showing, you just need to check the profit ceiling and calculate with your license that you have subscribed. If it is not correct, then we will float the Google form. But as far as we have checked the database, the limit should be intact for everyone. But we will take 48 hours of time from now and let everyone check and recheck. Once we have, we will ensure that everyone has the profit ceiling, the limits intact, then we will resume the trade. Okay, we will not leave anyone behind. Uh, perfect. My phone is Thank not you. working right every time 
Noni, please unmute yourself, Noni K. Thank you, Chavez. That's that's Thanks. very well explained. I think that's very straightforward. Can't wait. Thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful gift and for all your hard work. Thank you, Noni. Thank it's you. Just, just the beginning. Uh, we have. Uh, I will make sure that uh, you know. I made sure in the Indian prime time also that uh, this is my promise to my community that this bull run is is what we are going to in cash together and i will not let a single community member miss out the bull run that we are going to see so that's it thank you thank you so much Chavez, uh, thank you is insufficient to describe uh, the appreciation that we have for all the hard work and you uh, being able to deliver and take the time to explain and explain uh, how the bot works and uh, will work. So we look forward to continued collaboration with you and you looking after this community. All right, I believe we'll need to let you get some rest. <laughs> and thank you so much. Let us go ahead and say good night. Good night, Grace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Alice.